What's going on guys? This is the third tiny home tour of the week in Dana Point, California. This tiny home is over 400 square feet, two bedrooms, one bathroom. You're gonna love the bathroom shower. It is a great bathroom shower for this tiny home. And I'm gonna back up here. I wanna point something out, this roof right here. This roof is a shed roof. I love the shed roof. We have a nine foot flat ceilings on the interior. Tell us what you think about shed roofs versus your traditional roofs in the comment section. But this tiny home right here is selling for under $150,000. We're less than a mile from the beach. Homes over 400 square feet are perfect for accessory dwelling units, also known as backyard homes or granny flats. But this home right here is being sold in place in an all age manufactured housing community in Dana Point called Beachwood Park. Beachwood Park is a great community to raise your family. They have all the amenities, a billiards room, clubhouse, swimming pool, playground, and so much more. They have everything, but the best is that you're just less than a mile away from the beach. Let's go take a look at this beautiful tiny home. Another open floor plan. This is great. This home has all the stack windows because we have these nine foot flat ceilings that allow us to put these stack windows or transom windows. What do you call it? Do you call it a stack window or a transom window? Neither of them are wrong, they're both right. This is a nice cozy kitchen, but what's great is it's an open floor plan so you don't have a line defining where the kitchen ends and where the kitchen starts. You can have a nice kitchen table, a nice, Sofa over here on this wall in the corner. You can even fit a sectional. And then right behind us is where you're gonna to wanna to put your flat screen TV. So right there is where your flat screen TV would go. Again, this is a great starter home for you and your family if you have one or two kids. Beautiful white kitchen cabinet. I love white, it's in, it's trendy. Most of the home spec homes that we put out in the field today have white cabinets. We also included the stainless steel kitchen appliances and these quartz countertops. You don't see this color very option. It's got those earth tones, browns and grays in there and a little bit of speckle, but I really like these quartz countertops. So these are upgraded countertops and check it out we added the six inch backsplash. So the last home we toured, I believe they had, the tiny home had white tile going all the way up to the cabinet. So if you missed that video, make sure you check out the channel and check out that video. Another different feature of this home is this sink. The other homes that we toured this week had single cell sinks or a farmhouse sink but this is a dual cell sink with a gooseneck faucet and sprayer. So we still optioned in that gooseneck faucet and sprayer and it's also an upgraded sink because it's larger and deeper than your standard sink. So rate this kitchen of a tiny home from one to 10 in the description. Tell us what your favorite feature is. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you back through the hallway to the bathroom. This bathroom is beautiful. I love the tile, check it out. Now, one downside to having the tile go all the way up to the ceiling is usually we add that window above the shower to allow a lot more natural light. So we don't have the that window, but just this tile shower is beautiful with the glass sliding doors. I really like it. You can even add a light above the shower in there to get a little bit more light in there. So 
you do have options. You don't have to order a new home exactly how you see this one, but this home right here is being sold in place. Now, everybody wants to know what the main bedroom looks like. Check it out. This is a tiny home, remember that. I think earlier I said it was a two bedroom, one bathroom. It's actually a one one, so I apologize. This is a one bedroom, one bathroom home. But check out this bedroom size. You can fit a king size bed. If you have a queen size bed, you're gonna be able to fit nightstands and dressers. So again, this is a great use of the square footage for a tiny home. If you're interested in learning more, make sure you give us a call or leave a comment, 866-720-2207. And don't forget to smash that like button. It helps out our channel and we're here to help save you time and money so that you can make a more informed decision when buying a manufacturer mobile home.